Hello and welcome to Structural Analysis MCAT. The following is a brief overview of our multiple anchor bolt and base plate des design template. This template was created to help you quickly and efficiently design anchor bolts and base plates when large moments require the need of more than one row of anchor bolts. This sheet can be used for up to any amount of rows of anchor bolts that can fit on your base plate reasonably. In order to use the, the sheet, all you have to do is input your applied moments and axial load, your, the size of your base plate that you're going to be using, the size of your column, the edge distance of the anchor bolts and the anchor bolt spacing, the anchor bolt diameter, and the material properties of the concrete and base plate that you're using. On the following page, you will then input the number of anchor bolts per row that you want to use. Here is a vector that automatically updates based on the inputs you used in the following page. So here, two inches from the edge of our base plate, we're going to use three anchor bolts. And then at each following location, we're going to just use two anchor bolts. And that's so we can have an anchor bolt on either side of the column. Once you have finished inputting all of your design, then the sheet automatically does the calculations for you to find the tension in the anchor bolts and it checks to see if the concrete stress, steel stress, and the stress in your anchor bolts are within the allowable limits. Well, if those all check out, then you can continue on and you can see what uh, the tension is in each row of anchor bolts compared to the axial load. And then here's a representation of the stress in the concrete. And then there's one final check to make sure the statics are working out correctly. And then on the final page we have a design summary. So again we have ha the number of anchor bolts per column or per row, the location of those rows, and the, the actual value of the, of the tension per anchor bolt row. So once you have these values then you can continue your design, you can figure out the, the embedment depth and all the other variables necessary to finish your design. And lastly, we have the, the design of the, the base plate. Here we have the length being 35 inches, the width 16 inches, and the thickness of 2 inches. Now in this case, 2 inches might be a little thicker than you need, so you can then go back and reduce the, or increase the number of anchor bolts, whether row or how many anchor bolts are in each row. You can change the size of your plate, base plate and any other number of combinations to get the design to work correctly and to give you the results that you need. We know this sheet will be beneficial to both you and your company and we're grateful for your time. Thank you.